Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. I am coming to you looking a little strange at the moment. I have the vitamin C head and shoulders mixture on my hair again because I want to refresh my hair before we take our trip to England. This is gonna be like a sort of get your shit together with me, get my shit together with me vlog, like a vacation prep type of thing. But I have this mixture in my hair, I probably have oatmeal in my teeth, um, because I just wanna do like a little refresh but I'm keeping my ear out because you know I had my mirror and got me a few days ago and I just don't wanna get anything in my ear, get it infected or anything. My ear is still doing fine. Um, I mean, it feels the same, but I did, as of yesterday, use like a little tool that helps like blow air through your ear. Like it blows it through your nose and then you swallow and anyway. And like my ear isn't popping on this side, but I think air is coming through it because of the hole. So I think we're good to go for the flight. Anyways, we'll find out together, but I have some things that I want to do today. I just kind of want to prepare. We have a night flight, so we don't leave until like 8.10, I think is when we take off, but I have a lot to do until then. So currently I have this vitamin C mixture I'm gonna let it sit on my hair for like 45 minutes and then I'm gonna do a, like a refresh of the red I'm gonna do a little bit lighter this time though I think just like a little more of a tint instead of like last time I, I I went a little crazy with it, but it also washes out really fast So I don't know I need to like tint my brows I need to like shave I need to do a bunch of different stuff fake tan I did some preliminary packing. I mean, I'm pretty much fully packed because I just, I have ADHD. Like I cannot film like a pack with me vlog, but I will be doing some like last minute packing, some outfits, switching around. Packing your life when you love wearing clothes and different shoes and outfits and stuff into a suitcase for a whole week is very difficult. So just wanted to say good morning. We are sitting on the couch, enjoying some YouTube videos. I will check in with you when this has rinsed out and hopefully, you know, my hair is a little bit lighter. Me and my ear will just be here. All right, I'm out of the shower. We're gonna check and see what this hair color thing did. But first, I'm gonna do a little mask. I'm just trying to get my skin nice and, you know, fresh and ready for my vacation. So I use this um, exfoliant once a week, sometimes twice. I'm not gonna do too much of it because I only did this a few days ago. But um, this is the Vital C hydrating enzyme mask by image skincare i just got it from my place where i get my facials done but um, i'm just gonna smear this on and then you can leave it for 10 to 20 minutes and i'm actually going to blow dry my hair a little bit before i put this conditioner on because i have the I, do you love how i just like forget that i'm filming for like actual people i have the color mixture here so I'm gonna apply that to my hair that's like the conditioner but i want to see what's happening here and do like a little strand test first so let me finish this. <laughs> All right, so I mean, actually I do think it worked a little bit. It's definitely more of like a warm blonde. It definitely did work a little bit, but now, first I'm gonna actually rinse my face mask off cause I've dilly dallied around and it's been like over 10 minutes. So we'll rinse this first and then we'll apply this copper mask and hope it turns out okay. <laughs> Just realized I wasn't recording, but okay. Let's see what happens. While I'm waiting for this color, which I am seeing a little bit of red now, so that makes me excited. While I'm waiting for it to develop, I'm gonna put some Just For Men on my eyebrows for like five minutes. I saw the girlies on TikTok doing this and I tried it once and it actually works out really well. I use, I threw away the box, A25? Not sure. Just gonna put a little color on these brows. I have truly never looked better. <laughs> All right, got my eyebrows rinsed off. Car is pissed off outside and got my hair rinsed out and I'm just gonna like let it air dry for a little bit. Our flight just got delayed, but only flight by like 45 minutes so far. So hopefully that it just, you know, that's the only, the only delay, but we will see. But in the meantime, I only do this really when I travel anymore because it's just so easy to like have lashes on, ready to go, you can sleep in them, whatever. I'm using these Flutter Habit lashes. Drew got me a lot of them for Christmas last year and I still haven't even made my way through all of them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and like put those on so that I don't have to worry about it for pretty much the whole week. It's gonna be great. If you haven't heard of these before, they are like a sort of like a DIY at home lash extension type of thing and they glue underneath your lash line instead of on top of your lash line 
and it's just really convenient especially for me for travel i wore them when i was in japan it was just very nice to have so i'm gonna put those on blow dry my hair and then i'll show you what the finished hair looks like i'm so excited all right it is a few hours later here is what the hair is looking like it looks kind of weird because this lighting in particular makes everything look like more goldeny kind of yellowish orangish but it does look a little bit more just like normal in person and also my face is like very flushed it'll obviously look better once i'm like ready and dressed and stuff but yeah i'm glad i did it just a little refresh it lasted like a month i think last time so maybe in another month we'll decide what to do with my hair next because i don't want to keep putting red dye on it but we'll see i actually took quite a long break earlier i just like laid down on the couch took a little nap which was nice probably shouldn't do that because we are doing like an overnight flight but it's fine it'll be fine my sleep will be horrible regardless i won't sleep on the plane so it is all good but now i'm just doing my hair simply because i have nothing else to do and because it was wet oh you're sitting on the shelf where my mirror usually is so I'm using a mirror down here, but um, let's see. What else do I have to do? I mean, I have to finish packing, so that's probably the last thing I'm going to do before I go. We have about like an hour-ish. Yeah, about an hour until we leave. So I'm just going to make some like last minute sort of decisions when it comes to outfits and stuff. Probably going to have to make some cuts because my suitcase is overflowing. I will finish these last couple of pieces and then we will get to packing. Okay, so here's where we're at could be worse it definitely could be worse i need to like readjust because i used my straightener i have to let my curls set and then i'll brush them out don't worry i want to like do my toiletries and all that kind of stuff first so i'm gonna like smoosh everything in here in this side of my suitcase this was the suitcase that i bought when i was in tokyo last time to bring all of the shit that we purchased back with us so i brought two hats i brought my little cute thrifted cooperstown baseball hat and then my bucket hat and i think i might also bring this hat but like do i have any specific vision i don't know i'm gonna set that aside but i do have visions for these two and then i have i think i'm gonna bring three pairs of shoes i'm gonna bring my sambas my oxfords and my converse because those kind of go with everything i'll wear the converse on the plane because they're the heaviest and then drew actually put my sambas and my oxfords in here um and then i have my um like underwear bras pantyhose socks everything like that and this i have a couple sunglasses in here i have my umbrella i have a couple different bags i have like a brown crossbody bag and then i have my black one out there i have my little teddy bear bag if you watch my main channel i thrifted this like tapestry bag that's gonna be so cute why am i rearranging everything here? that's gonna be cute okay so that's kind of a tentative she's done section i could put some stuff in here but i don't think it would like fit flat on here but i don't know we'll see about that i want to bring two jackets but I don't know how practical that is. I could wear one on the plane, but I am so weird about plane germs. Like, I just don't know. So maybe on that, I threw some last minute additions in here, but I did put together, like last night, I literally sat in our room, tried on a bunch of different outfits and then took pictures of those outfits in the mirror so that I had like an idea of what I wanted to wear when I was there. Cause I feel like I just get so overwhelmed with like, what do I wear? What do I wear? And I think that helped. So that's what I did for Japan. And it seemed to really <laughs> help me get my shit together. So, okay, I'm trying to see if there's like anything that I can make there really isn't that's the thing that sucks about traveling during like a warm or a cool time of year um because you're you're just packing a bunch of like thick bulky sweater and jackets and like it sucks this sweater is cute but i can just wear it at home this shirt i'm definitely gonna bring because it's so tiny this was like a last minute addition this like cute brown top practically nothing so that'll go in there oh sorry oh you're fine i had this target skirt that i got that is so cute and i was gonna wear it when we were in the cotswolds but i tried it on yesterday and it's too big and there's no time to return it so whatever okay can i fit my jackets in here is the question i can probably fit one but two is pushing it my suitcase is for sure gonna be overweight like i've accepted that <laughs> it's just 
It is what it is. I could break it up into two different bags, but I really just want to have one suitcase on this trip. And I also want to slay. I, I want to slay and I want to serve, so. Okay. I'm gonna try my best. We're still doing okay. The thing that sucks about this suitcase is like, it's nice because it fits a lot, but it doesn't um, like expand. I feel like that's always what saves you at the last minute. Okay, I mean, that's good. If I don't fit a second jacket, it's not the end of the world. It really isn't, but like, would be nice. Okay, this is a this is a starting point. We'll see where we go from here. All right, so it is actually now like 6.30, and um, I did manage to get my bag packed, which is amazing. I do think it's overweight, but that's okay. But when I was packing, or I don't know, Drew and I were like sitting on the couch or whatever, um, I got a notification that our flight was delayed like another hour. So it was originally leaving at 8.10, <laughs> And now it's leaving at 9.50. So we're like pacing around the house. We've been playing the new Mario game for the Switch. Mario Wonder, I think. Here it is. We've just been trying to kill the time because we don't really know what to do with ourselves. And we were like packed and literally like two seconds away from calling the Uber to take us to the airport. And then I got the text. So in the meantime, I guess I will for the rest of this vlog answer some questions because I have gotten a few questions in like Instagram Q and A's and stuff. And I have um, kind of been meaning to post a Q and A like while I was gone, but I didn't get around to filming it. So we'll just answer some questions now. Question number one, are you planning to stay in LA for a few years? Maybe, would you say a few years? I would say, yeah. LA? I don't, yeah. <laughs> I think we are planning to stay for a few years. Um, I mean, we love this apartment, but there are like a couple things that are concerning. Like the walls are like low key crumbling <laughs> and stuff. We're slowly being crushed. And like if a bad earthquake happened, there is a strong possibility that we would be crushed in here. Um, so there, there's like, I don't know, it's just a very old building but we love our neighborhood. We love our landlord, believe it or not. I mean, he is a landlord, like, but he's so friendly and he's really on top of things and he gets things done. We love our neighbors, like genuinely zero complaints about that. It's just insanely expensive, like insanely expensive. I would say compared to like what we first started paying when we moved back to Arizona in 2020, it's almost double that like it's you know it's very expensive la is just expensive in general but also um yeah we're not opposed to like trying other places in southern california because we're both you know remote and we have the ability to do that so that's like a whole thing we've been kind of talking about that lately so we don't know but for right now i mean we're in this apartment until the end of may and then possibly for another year after that and then we'll decide or then we'll decide from there as far as like la proper yes like we we really love it and we do plan on staying but we just don't know how far outside of like the greater la area we want to be there are things that i love about living in a city and then there are also things that i miss living in a suburb and then those things are flipped whenever i'm living in a suburb so i don't know we'll see do you and drew ever fight you both seem so chill yeah every day <laughs> i'm gonna Goodbye. be honest with you <laughs> ah. i'm gonna be honest with you no we don't really fight we definitely like bicker mm -hmm. and we get like on each other's nerves and stuff but no i like i know it's weird i think it just came from like a sort of we were friends for years before we started dating type of situation this lighting is terrible in here i'm so sorry about that it's literally nighttime now but um yeah we definitely like have disagreements but i think the probably the thing that i consider the most like valuable in our relationship is like the level of respect we have for each other so there are things that like you know i was in past relationships screaming my head off and acting a fool and like i just simply would never do that now and i don't know like there's never been a situation where it's been that serious. But we've de I mean, we definitely disagree and we definitely bicker like daily. Mm -hmm. But as far as like big blowout fights and stuff, no. It sounds like I'm lying, but I swear to God. A lot of people have been asking like how we're doing, you know, since losing Moo and Layla. And I think we're doing our best. Like 
I think we're doing pretty good. I mean, we're getting ready to go on this trip that we've wanted to do for a really long time and looking on the bright side, like we don't have to arrange pet care. We've mentioned that before. Like we don't have to worry about what's happening at home while we're out and about. Like we can just kind of go and then come home and resume our lives and stuff. And there was always, I mean, it's kind of been substituted for me this week with my ear, but um, there was always some sort of medical thing, like the week of a trip with either animal there was always like multiple trips to the vet something would always come up without fail and it would be like are we going to be able to go on this trip do we need to cancel it and i mean we did cancel many trips mm -hmm. um like many of them but um it was just replaced with me this week but yeah we're doing the best we can we're really sad and we miss them every day but yeah, we're just trying our best i'm seeing a lot of questions asking if like now that you know we don't have our animals anymore if we would consider moving to london the uk whatever and like i i think that that like maybe because of social media it seems like that's a really easy thing to do like ooh, picking up and moving to london but actually moving to the uk if you look on their <laughs> their website it's very hard to emigrate to the united kingdom um like there are only a certain number of visas that you're able to get like a certain amount of visas and none of those categories do we fall under so it's like you can't move there if you're a self-employed person um you can't move there if you like own your own business you have to either get a job with a uk based company that will pay thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds to sponsor you and choose you over British citizens to work this job. They want you so badly that they will literally sponsor you, AKA pay for your visa and all that kind of stuff to work there, um, which is a possibility, I guess, for like Drew, but then I think we'd have to be married. So that's a whole thing. Um, it's not possible for us to like up and move to the UK, which we didn't even realize until probably like a year or so ago when we actually started looking into it. Cause we were like really thinking that this was gonna be a possibility. We don't qualify. So that's the only thing that's like, uh, it's kind of kind of a bummer. Um, if we were allowed to, I 100% think we would. Drew's nodding over there. Like, we can go to Ireland. I guess we can go to Ireland, but even mm -hmm. then like the, the, there are only certain visas. So I don't know. We're, we don't know yet um but for now we want to visit you can go to the uk for up to six months on like a visitor's visa on like a traveler's visa um but you can't work when you're there so that's the only thing we would have to take a six month vacation and like drew has a full-time job so yeah it's it's it would be a lot of work like drew could try to find an american company that's based in the uk and that's possible too a lot of people do that um but that would be a whole thing and like uprooting our entire lives and like yeah it would just be a lot so as of right now no but like if they would let us in honestly we would be moving there like asap literally i think like honestly if if they let us in we would like move there after our lease was up yes like a hundred percent i don't think there's any question about that are you right or left-handed i am left-handed thank you so much for asking it's a personality trait for me i would say the next biggest question that i've seen is like would we get another pet are we getting another pet would we get a puppy would we get a kitten this that and the other and as of right now no we will not be getting any more animals we want to embark on this new chapter of like not having any responsibility when it comes to animals because i've said this before i feel like a broken record but like drew got moo when he was 19 i got layla when i was 22 23 something like that and i have not in my adult life nor has drew had to not be responsible for a pet and so we just really want to enter like our traveling era and just try to get out of the house as much as possible and um, it was nice because we had our moms when we lived in Arizona who were able to watch our pets in like a very specific way, give them their medicine the right way, etc. But, you know, we don't live at home anymore and it's just, it's expensive to get care for pets. And also we just don't want to have that responsibility yet. So I would say yes in the future someday. Drew was like 100% no because he was like, I can't go through that again. But now we've been seeing like cute animals on TikTok and stuff. He's going... We're like, yeah, 100%, we're gonna get another animal someday, but we don't know when, we're not sure. Probably not at least for a couple of years. I feel like I've answered this for almost seven years now, 
and it's is there a reason you and drew don't get married curious if there's a reason with a heart next to it like there's literally no reason there's i, I think it's so um wild that some people just have such a hard time accepting the fact that like couples are just happy together and they like don't want to get married i don't know or, it's not even that we don't want to get married we're just like we're just chilling i don't know i feel like sometimes there's like a piece of our brains missing like me and drew like we i don't know we're, we just are so happy and content and like 100 percent would get married and talk about getting married someday but like just it's not like a huge priority it just doesn't feel necessary i'm on his health insurance i have been for the last like three four years something like that longer than that honestly we're on each other's things everything that we're allowed to be legally i mean like yeah we have to go once a year and like get something Disney notarized account. you're on my hulu account you're on my disney plus <laughs> on your life insurance i'm not supposed, to know, not that, supposed but, to know that but but i am you know things like that so yeah it just doesn't feel super necessary and definitely not opposed to it at all whatsoever but it's not like yeah a huge priority thing a lot of people have sort of like asked the question like why do you go to the same places so many times why don't you go try new places like go to other countries in europe or other countries in asia like you know we've been to japan twice this will be my third time going to england i don't know i just i just like what i like and we only get so much time a year and um like vacation time for him anyway and so it's like we just want to go to the places that we like and I just enjoy visiting the same places and that's just kind of how I roll. I like going to new places as well like Drew and I definitely have talked about like wanting to go to Greece someday. Um, I would love to go to some other like European countries. Definitely like Scandinavian countries would be amazing someday. New Zealand would be amazing someday. Other places in the Land. US what iceland oh yeah iceland would be incredible it's definitely on our radar and we want to do it we want to go to canada we haven't even done like an east coast trip he hasn't even been to nashville he hasn't even seen like where i grew up yet it's just like i don't know we only have a certain number of days and so sometimes it, we just don't get around to it but i mean we definitely want to do all of that stuff so who knows where is drew from i'm from ohio and i pick up wholesome midwest vibes drew is born and raised in arizona baby he's never lived anywhere except arizona and california but he is very wholesome so and as a descendant of a midwesterner my dad was born and raised in minnesota my whole dad's side of the family lives in minnesota pretty much or were from minnesota they are like the most wholesome people ever and i take that as a great compliment because he's great thoughts on travis kelsey and taylor swift i think they're really cute i get a lot of tiktoks targeted to me about them and um i think it's cute it, it's very new and i think it's probably really scary to have like the entire world talking about your relationship and like planning your wedding and like all that kind of st like that's a little weird but like i think they're just having fun and it seems really cute why did you delete so many videos from your vlog channel and i also saw a couple people say like why did you um private like your neighbor vlogs and stuff like that i think um oh my god hello i think like as my career on the internet has spanned over the last decade i just kind of like sometimes reassess the things that i've put out there and i don't necessarily relate to myself three years ago or five years ago or seven years ago or whatever and so sometimes i feel like they're where i am currently in my life right now and like how i value privacy more and i just have like a very kind of limited amount of my personal life that i put on the internet like that felt like too much there are just things that i look back and i'm like i related to that at one point you know obviously i created it but now i just like don't necessarily want that out there i also like i've been through this with like both of my channels for years i'll go and like private all of my story times and then i'll be like what am i talking about and then i'll put them back up like i don't know i think it's just um especially like the neighbor vlogs in particular it was a fun way to like distract myself from a really really stressful time in my life however by putting it on the internet i obviously you know opened myself up to a lot of people like trying to find out where i lived trying to find out who these people were um you know reverse google searching things and and trying to like you know it wasn't just like oh it's a fun entertaining story it's like we have to find out who these people are and that made it really weird and then also like 
I was really gaslit during the process by a lot of people being like, you're being so dramatic. Like, this is not even a big deal. You're being a Karen. And I'm like, you didn't live there, okay? It just really soured the experience because not only was I going through it, it was like very, 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 very stressful. And also my dog was recovering from a $7,000 and, you know, very stressful leg surgery then you know where i lived i hated i hated being home i hated being in my own home it made me absolutely miserable and it was just awful and so like on top of that then i was getting comments of people being like actually it's not a big deal and you're just being dramatic so that really sucked this might be too personal but how do you and drew split the bills i just moved in with my boyfriend i actually think this is a fascinating topic because everyone does things differently like some couples split things 50 50 but for us we have different incomes so we contribute the same percentage of our income to our rent. And then for other things like, so Drew pays for our health insurance through his job. So that's something that he pays for. He pays for all of our streaming services. He pays for our car insurance. What else do you pay for? Utilities. He pays our utilities, etc. And then that also factors into like the percentage of rent. So if things are equal for us, like we're paying the same amount from our salary, but it's different amounts, but it's not that different. Um, really, it, it kind of ends up being like 50-50, but there were times where like, I was paying for this and he was paying for that and I was paying for this and he was paying, like the electricity was in my name, the gas bill was in his name. And then we were just like, let's like simplify this a little bit. And then also like when we go out and about, we just kind of take turns, I don't know. Like he's ordering the Uber for us. He pays for food, I pay for food sometimes. Like whoever initiates whatever it is we're doing usually pays like, oh, do you wanna go like to dinner at this place? and then we'll pay, or like drinks at Disneyland, we'll like alternate, but it's really, as far as bills and living expenses go, it's pretty much equal amounts, maybe just a little bit different, but we're contributing the same percentage, if that makes sense. It is time to head to the airport, to sit there for three hours, but thank you so much for watching. I'm actually gonna switch to a different camera as well, because this one is kind of big and annoying to take with me, so we'll see you soon in the UK on the other side of the pond. Ah, I'm so excited. Thanks for watching, bye. Bye. Let's go to England.